Good day, world workers! Welcome to the first episode of Wit Bits, where we gather our wits within a few minutes. Today's focus is on variables as discussed by Kumar in 2011 and Johnson in 2014. Specifically, we shall cover the difference between concepts and variables and introduce the term constant. To start off, let me ask you, how would you describe your most recent meal? Hmm. Or how did you perform in your assessments in some of your subjects, perhaps? And lastly, at what level was your anxiety last year and how is it different this year? For the first question, some may respond that they had a delicious meal while some might say that theirs was just okay. A few students may tell you that they scored high in their assessments while a few may not be as confident in disclosing the numbers. And finally, majority of your interviewees may share that their anxiety levels are significantly lower this year because they have adjusted to the new normal, whereas a certain minority would claim that there is no difference at all. This means that although you have asked about the same topic, the responses may vary according to the person's set criteria in mind or their expectations. Their opinions and conclusions follow their personal judgment. Let us now consider a more serious uh, set of context. How effective is online distance learning? Does the use of Google Classroom affect the feedback mechanisms of teachers? How is collaboration different during the face-to-face -face learning and ODL setup? The question on the effectiveness of online distance learning may simply be a matter of it is effective or probably not to some, but it still begs the questions to what extent or in what terms or probably what are the basis? Google Classroom may have significantly affected the feedback mechanisms of teachers, but again, the questions which feedback mechanism has been affected or up to what extent? And finally, which aspect in collaboration draws the major difference when done face-to-face -face or during ODL? This presents that there needs to be a measuring mechanism that is according to Kumar in 2011 by which these concepts may be further presented. So on this note, the knowledge about variables definitely comes in handy. An image, perception, or concept that is capable of measurement, hence capable of taking on different values, is called a variable. In other words, a concept that can be measured is called a variable. Also, as cited in Kumar, Kerlinger 1986 defines a variable as a property that takes on different values and is something that varies. So, hence, variables varies. Now, how are concepts and variable different? So, concepts are actually mental images or perceptions, and therefore, their meanings vary markedly from individual to individual. Therefore, measurability is the main difference between a concept and a variable. Now, let us examine the table to better understand this difference. So, for the concepts, they're subjective, and there's no uniformity as to its understanding among different people and as such cannot be measured. So for example, effectiveness, satisfaction, impact, excellent, high achiever, self-esteem, rich, domestic violence, extent and pattern of alcohol consumptions, and so on and so forth. Whereas for variables, these are measurable, measurable though the degree of uh, precision varies from scale to scale and from variable to variable. For example, Gender could be either male or female, attitude, age in terms of years or months, income is could be measured per annum or per month, weight, height, religion, these are all variables because there is a certain degree of uh, measurability. Now, the question is, how do we convert these concepts into variables? Now, the keyword here is operationalization. 
So you have to think of indicators, parameters, or modes of measurement. For example, you have chosen the topic about the effectiveness of clubs and organizations in developing the leadership skills of students. So the first concern is considering what indicators would dictate whether joining clubs and organization is an effective tool in honing the student's leadership skills. This ensures the measurability of the concept effectiveness. Hence, you may think about the assessment of the organization members about their leader's performance. This may be measured through, let's say, a comprehensive Likert type questionnaire. Moreover, the concept effectiveness could also mean the number of implemented projects and their corresponding evaluation or feedbacks. Lastly, the concept may be gauged through a self-assessment of newfound proficiencies and competencies in relation to leadership. So as a conclusion, the word effectiveness or the concept effectiveness is being operationalized and thus it has turned into a variable. This is done by chunking the immeasurable concept into measurable indicators. Finally, just like how Kumar had put it, in quantitative studies, as the emphasis is on exploring commonalities in the study population, measurements and variables play an important role. Now, to better understand the concept of variable, let us talk about its direct opposite, that is, the constant. Now, a constant, according to Johnson in 2014, is a single value or a category of a variable. To illustrate, for example, the variable educational attainment is a marker of various constants, elementary, high school, baccalaureate, postgraduate, or technical vocational. Therefore, if a participant says that he is a high school graduate, then that pertains to just one thing, hence a constant. So it is also similar to the variable weight which has a lot of values. 50 kilograms pertains to the specific weight itself. Therefore, weight is a variable because it varies, while the constants or values 50 kilograms, 55 kilograms, 60 kilograms, and so on, do not vary. In short, a variable is a set of things and constant is one of those things. That's from Johnson in 2014, page 90. So that is it for the first episode of Wit Bits here on WordWorks by Shaliga. Let's gather all of our wits within a few minutes. Stay in school!